Hi study buddies, I hope you had a lovely summer break, but again, all good things have to come to an end. But we still have a little sliver of summer left, so today I'm gonna go around New York City to find the best stationery for back to school. I am going off to college very soon, actually in about a month, so I wanna get some really nice stationery items and school supplies before I go off to San Diego. The first stop is Kinokiwa Bookstore around 5th Avenue, and on the outside it looks really kind of bland, but yeah, even on the inside it looks kind of bland, it's just filled with books. But once you get to the back area, you finally see the glorious stationary aisles. There's planners, there's journals, calendars, and so much that it was honestly kind of overwhelming, and this is just the downstairs area. But before we go to the main stationary area, which is actually upstairs, I want to talk about what I want to get for back to school on this short elevator ride. So the first item I really want to get is a planner or agenda. Um, I actually do need a new notebook, so I'm also looking for that. I'm also really wanting to get some Copic markers, some brush pens, and also a new pencil case. So let's see if we can find all of those things today. So the first section we went to was the marker section and I really wanted to get some Copic markers because I think they're just really amazing for sketchbooks and I wanted to get some autumn colors because once September hits, I'm going to be doing so many bullet journal spreads with like fall colors and I ended up choosing between a yellow, some greens and also a maroon red. There were a lot of brush pens to choose from. This is actually not the pen section because there's a whole dedicated aisle just for like mild liners, Muji pens, and um, different types of like pilot pens. But there were many brush pens here. There was Zig brush pens and also Tombow brush pens, which I thought were really cool. Before buying any brush pen or Copic marker, you should really try out if they're smudge proof or if they work well with pens. And I wanted to try it with a Micron pen. And I ended up actually buying the Pigma Micron pen because those are like really staple products for sketchbook and just drawing. Um, and they turned out really well with the Copic markers. Um, none of them smudged. And yeah, I really loved all the colors that I chose. The one color that I didn't really like was that um, that like turquoise blue color. Um, so I ended up just choosing three of the Copic markers. Besides the marker section, there was a ton of stationary items, especially masking tape, pencil cases, pen sets, and pillows. There was a lot of just other stuff, but I was focusing on getting more things that I didn't already have, so the section that I found myself mostly in was the card section. Rifle Paper Co. is one of my favorite stationery brands, and they were here and I really wanted some really good quality cards to give to my friends. I ended up choosing this metallic Japanese print card, which I wanted to hang up on my wall, but it was not Rifle Paper Co. I don't know where you guys live, but my hometown has nothing like this. There's just like this one section in Target that has like a few nice cards. But finding really nice stationery like gold foil, glittery, sparkly, like birthday cards, that's like a rare find. There were so many cute items and I honestly don't think you could find such an extensive range of stationery products unless you go to like Japan. So this is my little haul right now. I have a card, I also have a few Copic markers and a few Zig markers. They also carried the Rifle Paper Co. notebooks, but they were really expensive. A pack of three was around $17, which I just couldn't deal with. But um, there was just a really nice selection. There was also decomposition notebooks, which I thought were really cool, but you could get those at Target. Like a lot of the things were really expensive, this small pouch was $13, which I probably could get on Amazon for like $5. But the one thing that I really wanted to check out was the pen section. Unfortunately, there was not a lot of like interesting pens. Um, I had a lot of like Muji pens already. I had a lot of the Pilot Juice pens already. So I ended up just buying a few cards, a few Copic markers, a few Zig markers, and that was it. Oh, and I also got a boba, <laughs> but I, I was filming so I didn't notice that I was going down the wrong escalator. But we are making our way down to the first floor and we are going to check out so we could go to Muji. 
The total price of everything was around $40, which I don't think is bad because I did get a lot of items that I thought were unique and I didn't have them already. After a quick three minute walk, we made it to Muji Fifth Avenue, which is their like flagship store. This one actually has plants and I thought that was just really cool because Muji really expanded to so many items. But one of the classic things that I love about Muji are their pens. Their gel pens are amazing, but I have way too many already. So I wanted to try some of their new ones. They have an erasable pen and also a hexagonal pen, which I heard was also really good. So I ended up buying a few hexagonal pens, I bought a few erasable pens, and a few of those clicky pens. So as you can see, there are so many pens and they have at least three aisles of pens and a huge like circle of pens. So I was just really overwhelmed. But going downstairs, I actually wanted to try out some of their clothing. And besides all of the stationary items, Muji definitely has a really nice selection of simple clothing items. I wanted to try out one of their joggers and also one of their black striped t-shirts. And for back to school, I think it's super nice to have some new clothing items. I mean, it's almost fall. It's the end of summer. We are transitioning to long pants, jeans, and long t-shirts. Okay, so this is one of their oversized t-shirts. I'm not sure if this is for women's, but I ended up really liking it. I thought the fit was really nice and it was only around $25. So the next item I ended up trying on was this cream and black striped t-shirt. I thought it was really cute. It was around $39, which is pretty expensive for just a striped t-shirt. But I think there was a discount going on. I think it was around 50% off. So it ended up just being around $20. So if you want to see everything I bought, I will have a back to school stationery haul video so you can see everything I bought in really nice detail with links in the description. I also have a very special announcement right now. So if you stayed long enough into this video, which you guys should be doing more often because I do see my statistics and 70% of you guys are not subscribed to me. So today I'm having another back to school giveaway. I'm giving away 15 mile liners and also a 10 pack of Muji pants. So all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up and comment something down below. Make sure it's original because spam comments will be deleted automatically. Um, so comment something funny or sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.